Hi. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the conditional operators AND and OR and to the logical complement. AND and OR allow you to combine conditions. This is the conditional AND. That is the conditional OR. Both operators associate from left to right. The conditional AND operator evaluates to true if and only if expression 1 and expression 2 are both true. So you can see there's only one situation when expression 1 and expression 2 evaluates to true and this is when both my expressions have been true. Let's look at an example. Let's say, let all 10 to 12 year olds know that they can participate. We could translate that to the Java code like this. If h is greater or equal than 10 and h is less or equal than 12, print you can participate. The conditional OR operator evaluates the true if at least one expression is true. You can see in most of the cases expression 1 or expression 2 evaluates the true. It is good enough if one of the expressions are true. Expression 1 or expression true is false if and only if both of my expressions were false. Let's look at an example. Let's say welcome all members and their guests to our event. We could translate that to Java like this. If student is a member or my student is a guest, print welcome to our event. Let's have a look at short circuiting. Sometimes we know that something is true without taking the time to figure out all the details. Let's say you want a friend to come to a concert with you and she says, I can come if you can drive or... At this point, it doesn't matter what comes after the or, as long as you know that you can drive. Java does something similar. It can often figure out whether an expression is true or false without evaluating the entire expression. This ability of the conditional AND and conditional OR operators to arrive at the answer after evaluating only the first condition is called short circuit evaluation or short circuiting. If the result of expression 1 and expression 2 is already clear after evaluating expression 1, expression 2 is no longer evaluated. Let's have a look at the truth table. As soon as we know that expression 1 is false, we can already conclude that expression 1 and expression 2 is going to be false. If expression 1 is false, Expression 2 is no longer needed to figure out the result and expression 2 is no longer evaluated. The same is true for the conditional OR operator. If the result of expression 1 or expression 2 is already clear after evaluating expression 1, expression 2 is no longer evaluated. Now we're looking at the truth table of expression 1 or expression 2 and we can notice as soon as we see that expression 1 is true, expression 1 or expression 2 will be true. If expression 1 is true, expression 2 is no longer evaluated. Let's look at an example. x is different from 0 and then divided by x is greater 1. This is a nice example of uh, the use of short circuiting to ensure that my denominator x is not 0. If x happens to be 0, 10 divided by x is never executed. So this is a safe code. Let's look at the same statement, but we switched the operands. So here I say 10 divided by x greater 1 and x is not 0. Here, things are very different. Let's assume x is an integer. I'm dividing 10 by 0. 
if x happens to be zero, this would throw an exception. So that code is not safe. You can see the order in which I place my operands makes a difference. Yet another example. x greater 1 and plus plus x less or equal 10. Here we have a side effect. Plus plus x is modifying x. Don't do that. As a general rule, try to avoid side effects in the right hand side of a conditional AND or OR operator. They make your code harder to read and more difficult to understand and thus more error prone. Let's have a look at a logical complement. The logical complement looks like an exclamation mark. It's also called the logical negation, the logical not, or sometimes just the not operator. The not operator reverses the meaning of a condition. If my expression was true, then not expression is false. If my expression was false, then not expression is true. Not is a unary operator. That means it has only one operand. This one operand is a condition. And the not operator is placed before the condition. Let's have a look at another example. Here, I'm assuming I have four integers. A is 8, B is minus 1, C is 4, and D is 3. I'm printing B as not equal to 1 and C is less than D. I'm trying to figure out, is one of the operands not going to be executed because of short-circuiting? And also, what is the output of my statement? I'm starting with b not equal to 1. b is minus 1. Minus 1 is not equal to 1. This is true. I have an end operator, so I still need to evaluate the right-hand side. c and d have the values 4 and 3. 4 less than 3 is false. True and false is false. Let's have a look at a second example. Once again, I'm starting with my left hand operand. A greater 9. A is 8. 8 greater 9. This is false, but here is a not. The not turns my false to true, so my left hand operand is true. Here is an OR operator. It doesn't matter what the right hand side is. One of my operands is true, so the overall expression will be true. There's no need to evaluate d greater c, and yes, the expression is true. Now it is your turn. Cross out all conditions that won't be evaluated because of short-circuiting. Then print the output that is produced by the statements below. Give yourself a moment, pause the video. When you're ready, press continue. My first statement is true i greater equal 1, 3 is greater equal 1, that is true, j less than 4, 1 is less than 4. Both of my operands are true, so my statement is true. I'm checking my left hand operand, m greater 9, 2 is greater 9, this is false. There's no need to even evaluate the second operand, this statement is false. I'm checking my left hand operand, j greater or equal to i. 1 is greater or equal 3. This is false, but there is a not operator that turns false to true. So my left hand operand here is true and I have an or. No need to evaluate the right hand side. We know this statement is true. i plus m less than k. 3 plus 2 is 5, and this is less than 7. This is true. In the case of an OR operator, there is no need to evaluate the right-hand side. My statement is true. k less than m. 7 less than 2. This is false. Now here, I have a NOT operator that turns my false to true. True and something still requires my right hand side. So I'm evaluating k different from m. 7 is not equal to 2. This is true, but now I have a not. My not operator turns the true to false. True and false evaluates to false.